In 2010, the Bank of Industry, BOI, was appointed by the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, to manage its 500 billion Naira intervention fund that was later increased to 535 billion Naira 10 years ago in 2011. The fund was created through the issuance of a 15-year debenture stock to the Bank of Industry BOI by the CBN. The investment was approved in accordance with Section 31 of the CBN Act of 2007. The existing and new power projects financed under the scheme contributed more than 840 megawatts to the nation's total electric power generation, or almost 25% of the total output. The objectives of the scheme include improving access of firms to suitable credit, improving power supply and enhancing the living standard of citizens through consistent power supply, providing leverage for additional private sector investment in the power industries, increasing production output and generating employment. This week, we shall be featuring one of the beneficiaries of the power segment of the fund, Paris Energy Limited, an internationally recognized energy company that supplies electric power to the national grid, as well as stable and reliable power to its customers under bilateral agreements. You will see firsthand how Paris Energy, which is located in Ogijo, Inogun State, is pursuing its vision of generating 1,000 megawatts of power within the next five to 10 years and becoming a national leader in providing power solutions to the industry. I am Hadiza Olao Shibiko. Please stay tuned. Paras Energy has over the years gathered a diverse clientele all over Nigeria and has continued to grow through the provision of reliable services. The company has managed different projects such as erection of gas supply infrastructure, power engineering, visibility study for power evacuation. On the 8th of April 2016, Paras Energy became the 27th company to supply power to the national grid in Nigeria and the first privately owned company to supply power under a bilateral agreement to their customers. This substation, the output of our generator is 11 kV and this is a bay, bay one with our import line. This is our 45 MPA transformer that step out of our footage from 11 kV to 33 kV. And this is our feeders that supply our plant. This is our 60 MPA transformer that step down footage from 132 kV to 33 kV. And these are our feeders again, which contain CT, PT, which are the protective devices. All these devices are installed by us. We use our hand to install all this equipment. And I'm happy here today that all these equipment are in good condition. This is our 132 kV section. You can see now, this, this is our SFC circuit breaker. This, this is our isolators. This is our insulators. And this is where we connected to national grid. You can see the marks here. You can see. This is where we connected to the national grid. See. You can see now, you can see the lines as they are going. So this is a point where we connected to 1.2 kV. 
the managing director of Paras Energy, at an interview, said the company was incorporated to provide uninterrupted power supply to the manufacturing industries. There was a need for consistent power, the power which gives reliability, consistency to make the steel production safe and going on. So with that purpose, Paras Energy was incorporated and formed. We are very happy to say that uh, with the support of BOI funding, we commission our machines and as of now, we are supplying power to various industries consistently with reliable power supply. We do not have to depend upon uh, NEPA power. Our customers are very happy and we are very happy to serve our customers. And we are delighted to tell you, when we go to the customer, we just do not talk about generation of power. We say to them, we are your power solution provider, complete solutions, meaning thereby whatever is their problems is our problem. So we have our technical expertise, we have our uh, people having industry experiences. With that, it gives us a lot of confidence that yes, we will be able to meet all the requirements of power whether is it in terms of generation, whether it is in terms of distribution, we are there for them. So you have a power problem, I'm there. We are there with our people. Complete solution. That's our passion. He explained why Nigeria was chosen as a choice of location for the business. Nigeria is the biggest economy in West Africa. Now, the, all industries, all infrastructure, the, all the developments got to happen in Nigeria. This is the economy, this is the place where the growth is going to happen. And as we know, the manufacturing facilities got to come to Nigeria, the largest economy, growth is needed. For any industries, any manufacturing, power is needed. Paris Energy with the passion of power is here to provide that support, to see that, to ensure that the power is supplied to the industries and industries do not suffer. So for that reason, the largest economy in West Africa, Nigeria was our automatic choice. With that vision only, many industries are there and our, with that facilities, as we know, more and more industries manufacturing here, it helps Nigeria to save foreign exchange huge foreign exchange and also supporting economy in terms of indirect taxes and direct taxes. So that was very, very clear focus that it is Nigeria where we got to come. This is our land. This is where we can fulfill our dream. It is our dream to be there in a country where power is needed, where power is needed to be consistent, power is needed where the complete solution is there for the customer. So this is the place where industry needs reliability in power supply. This is a country which has to do or grow a lot. We find this is the opportunity for us. This is the place for us to do, set up industry and provide that services. We can add value to our customers. So this, this, is, this is the country where we can put our all philosophy, our thoughts, our energy to generate power supply, be closer to the customer. That is why we are here in Nigeria to support. And as we said, we are setting up a manufacturing industries. BOI has supported us. So the manufacturing units got to be there in Nigeria. Many, many other manufacturing sectors. And as we have said, manufacturing sectors needs power supply, reliable, consistent power supply. That is why we are here. Thanks to BOI, given us a fund, we set up power supply and our customer, they are very happy. We have a world-class technology here, Watsila gas engines, more than 600, 700 places. We have got that and we trained our staff here. Now, it gives me so much of a 
pride that these staff they manage my billion naira assets there is no expat here in the night all my staff here who are trained they manage i have a peaceful sleep no worries no wahala they are so much trained that journey we had to overcome in a planned manner and we are now proud saying that our staff are now trained they manage that assets we were able to overcome this and in going ahead we have this is our hub where we train our staff and with that staff we'll go at a different places where our staff would work and do the project so. he narrated how the power and airline intervention fund by the central bank of nigeria through boi supported the growth of the company we started our journey when we conceptualized that they need power right so we had uh, five machines we had 50 megawatt then we had three more machines then we added about 80 megawatt then we again got the funds we went to 120 megawatt. So approximately 120 megawatt installations here, you are seeing that with the support of uh, BOI. We are thankful to BOI. We approached with our projects to CBN and through GTB, we got these funds uh, allocated to us to develop the projects. And as I said, industry, for example, is still industry. For any interruptions, leads to a problem in terms of equipment per se, in terms of safety, in terms of equipment life, in terms of productivity, in terms of yield, right? So there is a need, there was a need for consistent power supply. So we approached to uh, CBN that these industries, we want to do it, we want to develop that. These are the facilities we want to create. These are the manufacturing facilities we we want to do it and for that we need power and for that power we can do we can make that thing happen we can choose the technology we can make that happen thanks to cbn boi we got this funds we made the project happen and that has resulted into sustainability of our industries you see that the industries we had gone for expansions we were making reinforced bars. We have gone to wire rods, many other products we have gone in. So the production level has gone up. The yield has improved. So that has helped us to have a reliability in power supply. And it has benefited industries. He mentioned some of the potentials and future projections of the organization. We had planned to go to 1000 megawatt over five year periods. For that duration, for that journey the first thing is you got to understand the gas supply sources so that you are able to generate that how far your locations are there next comes if you generate power power has to go somewhere right so that is the grid so i'm very happy to inform you that in that journey we have studied elps line this is a 12 inch line coming from elps just passing about 50 meters from Paris Energy premises, where we are, we are connected to that. So we can take the gas supply from that, and we have a nearby 330 kV line that is going to Ikeja West. So on that, we can do it. We have conducted load flow studies. This study, we say that when we inject power to the grid, the grid should be stable. We have done that study. And these studies have been already approved by TCN. So with that, we have an approval of about 470 megawatt power generation. When I'm talking about a thermal journey, thermal energy, so this is about 500 megawatt. This is the plan we have done, and we have got the approvals. On the other side, I'm very happy to inform you that we have ventured onto our renewable energy, solar energy. We have set up. Thanks to, again, BOI to have funded us. We have commissioned rooftop solar solutions. We have commissioned ground-mounted solutions. So as of now, one megawatt solar project is commissioned, is running. And with the support of BOI, we have received the funds. We are developing 10 megawatt solar projects. And going forwards, we are planning to add up five megawatt further. 
with the support of BOI and then we have our plans to go to 100 megawatt. We want to develop 100 megawatt solar project in Nigeria. So that's our roadmap towards the journey uh, in five years to come in our long-term journeys. The MD also pointed out that the company will not relent in its effort at ensuring its customers get reliable and uninterrupted power supply. If we see the different uh, levels of industries, let's say some industries are there into the steel manufacturers, let's say some industries are there, uh, let's say refractory manufacturing, some are, let's say, uh, glass manufacturing, let's say flat glass manufacturing. The different processes are there for different industries. We got to understand the criticality of power availability and consistency of no trippages. That's a criticality factor because NEPA power will be there, right? But if it trips, the kind of impact it will have to industry is immense. So it is very, very critical and important to understand the different levels of requirement different criticality factor that the industry needs it where they cannot take any interruptions. They need a reliability. For example, a steel industry, if they are tapping it and power interruption happens, it can lead to safety issues. It can lead to equipment damages. Flat glasses, the whole thing, whole process will be uh, stopped. The whole thing will go as a waste. So it is, it is required that consistent power supply is needed. Power Synergy is really equipped with the knowledge it has, with the experiences that it has, with the manpower skill what we have. We are ready, geared up to provide them a consistent, reliable power. A technician at the Operations and Maintenance Department of Paras Energy explained how the company ensures uninterrupted power supply to its customers. This is the control room where we monitor our machines from. Now, these are the CFA panels, the CFC and CFA panels. So this one is for Gen 4. And we can monitor the problems arising from our generators through our systems here. We can observe the parameters from the systems. So the CFC panels from 1 to 12 controls the generators from generator 1 to generator 12. We can as well ascertain the problems of our generators based on the alarms that we see in our systems. We are very proactive in order to take care of the problems arising from each of the generators. We work as a team. We work as a team. We take care of the problems. We troubleshoot and find out solutions to the problems arising from our generators. More and more fund is needed, similar funds are needed in the power sector. We need to strengthen power sector which can provide, which can make energy power available to the industries. We got to focus on to setting up more and more industry and for that CBN, BOI, through that the funds need to come. So more and more funds are needed, more and more economic growth is needed in the country. We want to see as a partner in a growth approach for the industries. To make that happen, as we have our caption, passion for power, we want to contribute with our staff for the development of the sector. To make that happen, to facilitate that, we look for support from CBN, BOI to provide us more and more funds to venture into renewable sector as well as the thermal sector. 
with passion and power what we have demonstrated that yes we are there for the customer we have done we have contributed we look forward for more and more support and with our passion for power we want to make that happen we want to contribute to the industry's growth and growth of nigerian economies paras passion for power paras passion for power Under the Bank of Industries partnership with the Central Bank of Nigeria, we shall continue to support both viable and potentially viable companies in the power and aviation industries to operate in line with global best practices while enhancing their capacities to meet and exceed the expectations of their customers and in the process ultimately contributing to Nigeria's development. I'm sure the factory tour of Paras Energy has given you a better insight into the implementations of the PIVE scheme and its developmental impact. Please do not hesitate to visit our website for further information. It's on this note that we'll draw the curtains on this week's edition of BOI Impact. I am Hadiza Olaoshibiko. Do have yourself an enterprising week. It's good evening and bye for now.